This case has been very strange. If you guys remember, all the way back to last year, there was a, a couple in St. Louis, in the greater St. Louis area, who lives in a gated community, and then some peaceful protesters came in, and they were on their way to go accost somebody on the St. Louis City Council, and uh, the McCloskeys here came out, and you probably remember, and I'll just show you the picture there, they were the ones that were out there with the little handgun, uh, little Karen there, she had her handgun, Patricia McCloskey, but you know, she was out there waving around her little handgun with her hand on her hip and just looking to make sure nobody came and crossed their yard. And then Mark with his big scary murder machine under his tucked under his arm with his pink polo shirt. And as they are prosecutors after all themselves, they knew that the, well, the guns were of no danger even if people were there to come in and cause them or their property any harm because they used them previously in a case as a demonstration weapon and the spring and the firing pin were swapped around so they could be used as props effectively. And you know how we know this? Well, because the guns as they were photographed and videotaped they were seized by officers who came in the next day to come and collect those as they were being unjustly charged with well what basically amounts to aggressive uh, finger wagging well the effectiveness of the firearms we didn't know at the time but when they were forensically assessed that's what came out but the original prosecutor on this case, one Kim Gardner, the attorney general for the St. Louis area, had the forensic experts who discovered the spring in the firing pin being flipped around, had them reversed so that they could be functional as firearms. And then she based her case all on that. And also, at the same time, she was also seeking re-election to be the attorney general. And then she was summarily taken off the case because there were different allegations of corruption and perhaps political motivation in order for her to be re-elected because she was running on the platform that she's going to be going after the McCloskeys and then she was initially just taken off of Mark's prosecution and then she was eventually taken off of Patricia's prosecution. The AP in this article doesn't tell you that but we got to give you some backstory because we finally got sort of a conclusion to that so with all of that stuff out of the way the case against McCloskeys won't go back to a grand jury. That's important groundwork, especially because we have a conclusion for this. A judge on Friday, and that was last Friday, not a couple days ago, Friday, denied a defense request to return to a grand jury the case against St. Louis couple accused of waving guns at racial injustice protesters last year. Trespassers. Trespassers and vandalizers is actually what they are, but this is the Associated Press after all. A St. Louis grand jury indicted Mark and Patricia McCloskey in October on felony charges of unlawful use of a weapon and tampering with evidence. The latter charge is what happened after Kim Gardner, the original prosecutor on this, had those inoperable firearms converted back into murder machines. See how that stuff works? Their attorney, Joel Schwartz, Oive, filed a motion this month seeking to send the case back to the grand jury to decide if the couple should have been indicted in the first place. Hmm, exactly. Schwartz cited bias in the St. Louis Circuit Attorney Kurt Kim Gardner's office uh, that she had, oh, that he said tainted the grand jury process. Exactly. That's why I gave you all that background to begin with, because they don't go into this. They don't even mention that Kim Gardner was forcibly taken off of this case due to that corruption, due to her bad acts that led up to all of this. Special, special prosecutor Richard Callahan. Why do you need a special prosecutor? Why don't you uh, clarify that? Who was appointed months after the indictment? Hmm. Cool. That's how close we got. Said the circuit court judge, uh, David, denied the motion and set trial for November 1st of this year. The next hearing will be in June. And that just happened, and we're going to be following up on that. But I'll just give you a little bit more background before we move. Callahan declined to comment on the ruling itself, and Schwartz didn't immediately respond to text message from the Associated Press seeking comment. Gardner spokeswoman Allison Hawk said the office is no longer handling the case and has no comment. Yes, because they're under investigation themselves. But, like I said, we got a conclusion on this one. Mark and Patricia McCloskey plead guilty to charges will surrender guns. I seen this headline and then I was a little bit perplexed. Like, 
why the fuck would they do this? But then that's why we had the Associated Press article that said, okay, their case for being unjustly charged with crimes that they did not commit, in fact, they were framed for, would not be going back up to a grand jury and it would still be taken over by the corrupt attorney general's office. A different person, the same people are going to be doing this. So they were never going to be getting a fair trial on this one. They were going to end up getting a felony perhaps even worse if they didn't come to a plea deal and also their prosecutor or their defense attorneys themselves they know the system so i have a little bit more faith that they made the right decision here even though it has really really stupid ramifications the st louis couple who were seen holding firearms as black lives matter activists approached their homes pleaded guilty to several misdemeanor charges and surrendered their guns yeah, just the two that are still in police custody for as far as I know and as far as I could tell, they won't be getting those back, okay? Are they going to lose their Second Amendment rights totally? It doesn't appear that way, and that's not normally how it works when it comes to pleading to misdemeanors. They also won't be on their record, and they're only going to be fined a nominal fee. Mark McCloskey, a lawyer, pleaded guilty to a Class C misdemeanor of fourth-degree assault, while his wife, Patricia McCloskey, pleaded guilty to a Class A misdemeanor of second-degree harassment. Again, that's something you can look at and be like, yeah, okay, it kind of fits, okay. Fourth-degree assault... He was at least holding the weapon properly. Uh, Patricia there, what was she going to do? Okay, it wasn't looking down the sights. I don't think that her hip accuracy is that great. So, okay, fine, I guess. And they aren't going to be out that much. They will pay the maximum fines of $2,000 and $750 respectively, and they won't serve any jail time. More notably, however, the two will be forced to forfeit the weapons they were holding when they were confronted er, when they confronted Black Lives Matter protesters who were marching near their home last summer. The two have claimed the media interviews that the protesters were trespassing and noted that BLM supporters in St. Louis and other cities had committed arson and engaged in acts of violence. Yeah, St. Louis was tore up pretty good. It didn't get a lot of headlines in 2020, but I remember. The couple previously pleaded not guilty and were stated to go on trial in November of this year. The Black Lives Matter protesters told them they were going to kill us, said Patricia McCloskey last year. Yes, and Missouri, just in case you're wondering if it's uh, not right or if you don't quite recall, if it's not your legal right to be presenting your firearms when they aren't posing any danger to you or your property, not yet. Missouri has very wonderful castle doctrine okay if they're in your neighborhood if you think that they might potentially pro pose a threat you have every right available to defend yourself and defend your property it's one of the most comprehensive castle doctrines out there and it's a wonderful thing to see hence why the charge of what the fourth degree assault threatening to maybe potentially do something down the road is what that more or less accounts to biggest charge that's stuck so but again, none of the trespassers that were there ended up getting charged with anything and they came back the next day anyway, so nothing like that two-tiered justice system, you see. They were going to come in here, they were going to burn down the house, she said, recalling what the demonstrators say, they were going to be living in our house after I was dead. This is actually kind of funny, but you know, not for them, just for me. And they were pointing to different rooms, they were said, that's going to be my bedroom and this is going to be my living room and I'm going to be taking a shower in that room. <laughs> Horrible situation, but... Very funny thing to do. Very funny thing to do. Richard Callahan, a local prosecutor, wrote that some of the claims were unfounded. No shit. Obviously. They probably said that, but did you actually think that these fucking helmet-bedecked retards were actually going to come in there and fucking commandeer your home? No, when you have the ability to defend yourself. So, yeah, obviously. Thanks, Rich. So, yeah. Uh, Mark's apparently running for the emptying Missouri Senate seat after who's retiring I forget I think it's Richard Burr I think he's there from some crusty old fuck is retiring and he's uh, campaigning for that empty Senate seat god bless but you got the name recognition out there but this plea deal uh, might seem a little bit funny from the outset but that's why I gave you guys the previous context and I'm glad I looked it up because yeah they weren't going to be getting a fair trial and the fact that they even have to forfeit $2,750 is way too much and they're going to be losing two guns which is probably double that amount all for the fact that they were defending their place so is this a small tiny encroachment on castle doctrine perhaps I could see that if it's going to be used as precedent going forward I 
fucking hate it. But who knows? It's very early to tell. But St. Louis, man, it's a it's a weird place. As much as I like the Cardinals, I would not want to be visiting there. So like I said, this is the only... I don't think I mentioned this though, but this is going to be the only political video that we're going to be doing today. We got sports and we got some cancel culture slash pop culture going on. So if you're interested in that type of stuff, feel free to stick around. And I've been Don Consuelo. I want you to follow your gut and get after it. We'll catch y'all later.